All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I am your neighborhood friendly electrician, AKA daily electrician. And today I want to show you guys two tips that can save you potentially $35, how to hack your client tools, save some money. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so the first tip is on the magnetic 11 in one. And if you're wondering, is there a difference and should you buy the magnetic 11 in one? The answer is no. Um, as you can see here, they have two different types of barrels right here. The magnetic 11 in one does have a magnetized barrel. Um, so it does hold the tips in a little bit better, but it makes it really hard to pull it out and flip it around. Um, and the tip is not magnetized. If you're wondering, the only reason I really bought the magnetic 11 in one is because I believe that the tip was magnetized, which it is not. So, um, you can make your own magnetic 11 in one. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that and save some money. So you don't have to spend 20 bucks on this. And you can just, if you already have one of these, then go ahead and save extra money. Um, but if you don't have one, you can save about five bucks if you just get this model. I've never had a problem with the tips falling out before. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how to do this. All right, so to do this trick, all you need to do is remove the tip. And then you are gonna need to take a magnetizer. Uh, this is the Klein Tools magnetizer. If you have a rare earth magnet, it should do the same thing. Uh, follow the directions, put it right through on the arrow right here. And then once you put it through, it's gonna become magnetized. I have a little screw right here. And as you can see, it holds it just fine. Um, and for most of this, you're gonna be using it to screw in little uh, plate screws for trim plates, uh, for like plates on the wall, switch plates, receptacle plates. So as you can see, everything works just fine. Then just put it back in and you're good to go. And then you just save some money. All right, so lastly, if you're wondering if you should buy the uh, eight in one stubby with all the different tips, that is also a no, you don't really need to do that. Um, the, there's only gonna be one difference between these, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you a clip sent in by uh, Wannabe Electrician, so thanks for this clip. So he has this tool and from him sending me the video, I already knew that I didn't want to buy it. So it does have three different settings, one inch, two inch, and three inch. And if you extend it out about two and three inches, it does wobble around. Um, the only real difference between the eight and one stubby and this stubby is there's probably not gonna be a number three Phillips, but I'm not even sure who ever uses the number three Phillips anyways. Um, so the secret to make your own eight and one stubby, actually technically a 10 and one stubby, um, all you have to do is take out your tips out of your stubby right here and just go ahead if you already have your normal 11 in one once again just take out your tip right out of here and you want a square drive no problem boom there you have it number number two square tip flip it over and you have a number one square tip and once again you can put these through your magnetizer again and then you can have a magnetized stubby so how about that um, so there's two tips right there for your uh, square drive and then also you have your other tip right here your torques I don't know the exact numbers on these, but there's one Torx right here. And then you go ahead and flip that over. You have your smaller one. And that's how you make a 10 in one stubby. And if you buy the eight in one, it's only gonna have eight obviously, and it's not gonna be magnetized. So you can magnetize it once again with the uh, magnetizer right here. So this is gonna save you um, a lot of time and money. And also um, just hacking your tools, gonna to save you some more money. So hopefully these two tips helped you out. Hopefully it saved you $35. If you were thinking about buying one of these for $20, and if you were thinking about buying the eight and one stubby for $15, scratch it. If you already have the normal 11 and one and also the normal multi stubby, you're not gonna to need to buy anything else. You're gonna be set. So hopefully these tips helped you out. Hopefully it saved you $35. The only difference is you're gonna be missing that number three Phillips. And also the tip is not going to extend one inch, two inch and three inches, but um, as you guys can see from the video, it does wobble around if you uh, have it fully extended or even like extended one or two clicks. So I wouldn't recommend the eight and one stubby just from the video that Wannabe Electrician sent in. All right, so one thing I do have to give it to the magnetic 11 in one is that when you do pull out the barrel, once you can finally get it out, um, it is really greasy right when you get it. So it's like literally impossible to get out. But as you can see here, inside of there, there is two little balls right there. Um, and that does slip into this little crevice right here. So it is kind of like a ball joint. So it does kind of keep it secured once you can finally get it back in. It's kind of tricky at first, but I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. So the little ball does make it, so you actually have to put some force on it 
to get it out. Um, so that is kind of nice, but I'm not sure if you're using this as a nut driver, how long that little ball is going to last in there. If that's going to wear out, um, then your tip might just be falling out once again. And it might even be worse um, because if that ball gets pressed in and you're using this locking mechanism right here, if that ball is not existent anymore, then it might just fall out even worse than your normal 11 and one. So just a thought to consider. So hopefully that gives you some more insight. Anyways, guys, hopefully these tips helped you out. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Don't forget to check out the link tree down below for all my details on everything about me. Um, says my credit card numbers and social security numbers. All right, guys. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.